way we are getting packed up. This one will kind of explain the situation in the car. Um, we had a breakfast this morning, pancakes, bacon, orange juice, our freshly cut pineapple. Um, you can hand me that bag, I can take it. So let's get to the car and I'll explain what we're doing. We are finally in the car. We had to pack up a little bit differently today because we are gonna be gone all day and we're going from lava country to green tropical forest to farmlands to goat farm. Who's excited about the goat farm? This one right here. Super excited about the goat farm. And we're also going to Volcanoes National Park. So that is going to be cold temperatures once the sun goes down. So we're gonna hit all kinds of terrain, all kinds of weather, um, temperatures, and activities. All right, so also, um, and we won't talk about it too much just because Chelsea's gonna try and go to sleep here as we drive over. In 12 miles, turn right onto Route 190. Just to give you a little brief view of what we are possibly doing today, we're gonna hit as many things as we can just because it does take a long time to go from one side of the island to the other and also up and down the other coast. Um, literally all the way around the other end of the coast. So we are hoping to go to the goat farm. We're going to go to Akaka Falls, Rainbow Falls, and at Rainbow Falls, we are going to do a tour at OK Farm. That is our main time restraint because we have an actual tour that we've paid for and signed up for, and that one is in a couple hours. And then we are going to go down to Volcanoes National Park. So that's kind of a, oh, and we're also gonna try and hit the southernmost tip of the United States. There's also another um, bakery down there with the Malasadas. Um, there's only, as, as far as I can tell from the Facebook groups that I'm in, there's only three places on the island that you can get the Malasadas. One is where we went and got them at the Tex Drive-In up in Waimea. Another one is down at the southern tip of the, of the island um, at the bakery down there. And then the other one is actually that little fruit stand that we saw when we went, I don't remember where we saw it. Remember we said, oh, Kaylee would like some mangoes. We should stop at that fruit stand. Anyway, it's actually close to our hotel and we didn't realize how close it was. So, little uh, tip if you want molasadas when you come to the island. Those are the only three places you can get them. Um, but last night, we all know that Chelsea has had an earache and swimmer's ear and ear infection and she got that treated at the urgent care, but last night was really, really bad and she could not deal with the pain and the swelling. So we, we did the drops, we did some ibuprofen, pain meds, we did everything we could. She started to get a fever, obviously has, she has an infection and that antibiotic is trying to beat that infection, but the pain was so great. Um, and she just wanted to sleep and her body wouldn't stop shaking. So we just gave her a good healthy dose of melatonin and she slept solid for, what, about 10 hours. She really slept well and woke up again in a lot of pain at about seven o'clock this morning. And so we made a trusty call to Grandpa Dr. Hatch, <laughs> my dad. He was a pediatrician. In my mind, he still is a pediatrician. He still does a lot of medical research for the business that he currently has and the things that he does now um, to treat kids. But called good old grandpa and I was like, okay, what do we do? <laughs> we're stuck in Hawaii, what would you do? And he said, well, if you were here, I would send you to my pharmacist who has a special concoction um, and a prescription that actually deals, deals with the swimmer's ear and the infection because it's twofold. And a lot of doctors don't take care of both things. He said it's a bacterial infection and a viral infection. And the viral infection in the ear is the water that is the swimmer's ear problem. And then that creates a yeast infection, a viral infection. And that's what's painful, is that pressure on the eardrum that the kids cannot handle. And he says the eardrops are not gonna ever fix that. You will like have that ear like pain for a week and it won't go away. And so, trusty dad, this dad, had hydrocodone, which is what grandpa, my dad, told us to have. We took a little drop of our hydrocodone cream and put it into a spoon and added one or two drops of her antibiotic drops that we got from the doctor and kind of mixed that up. And if we had had a dropper, it might have been a little bit easier, but we literally just squished that cream <laughs> liquid down into her ear and had her lay on the other side um, and let gravity pull it down into the eardrum 
You guys, she was crying, she was shaking, she had a fever at seven o'clock this morning. Within, I would easily say five minutes, she was out cold. No more pain, at least enough to get to sleep. My dad said, he was like, it's really gonna like make a huge difference if he can get some of that cream inside her ear. So we brought it with us along with all of the other medications and we're gonna try and make her as comfortable as possible on this drive and across our adventures. We were gonna cancel everything and just stay home, but I think the cream is really gonna make a huge difference and another dose of the drops tonight is gonna make a huge difference. That'll be 48 hours on the antibiotic, which usually is a good turnaround point. So, Dad says we had our turnaround and play tour guides. This is our scenery right now, but it is about to change pretty drastically. literally teeny tiny pit stop uh, let kids go to the bathroom Chelsea said hey is there a bathroom and we literally drove past this and we're like that is the only bathroom we have seen in the past like 40 minutes so we went ahead and did they not lock No, they, stink. <laughs> they stink you got to just go you just got to plug your nose put a mask on I have a mask if you want to put it on do you want to put a mask on okay Okay, I'm gonna put some more in there. I don't know where the little... Hey Jace, can you... Jace? This terrain is just so different. Like we feel like we're in like Australian outback or something. It's just so desolate. So crazy. Was that pretty bad? <laughs> Are you serious? It's so bad. Is that bad? You go. Even with, you did you go to the bathroom? But you can't even breathe. You have like if you try, <laughs> if you try breathing through your mouth. <laughs> so you didn't even go to the bathroom. No, I did. You were in I rushed. <laughs> I did. You didn't go. <laughs> Do you want to pee on the side of the road? There's a rock. There's lots of rocks. Also, um, it's like 60 degrees, 60 probably 70 degrees. So we've had a already had a temperature drop it feels great to me but uh ashley's wearing sweatpants <laughs> other people that have stopped in here are wearing like pants and stuff but anyway you can already tell you're shivering um this one doesn't feel very good i'm not gonna film her she just doesn't feel very good one of our churches. I'm almost 100% sure that it, that is gonna be one of our churches. Is it? Yep, yeah. totally called it. We are heading down into Hilo, um, and you can see we've got lots of green over on this side. This is the wet side of the island. Um, so we're just gonna go down to the waterfront, see if there's anything to look around at. There's that little cemetery. Oh, oh and that, oh, that's so sad. Funeral going on right now. I just I didn't mean to capture that. Okay, like good job, hon. Good job. Okay. All right, we are. We're hopeful that we'll find some fun oh, things to do here in Hilo. I don't know. I kind of have my thoughts about this place. You're gonna want your pants off, Boo. Wait, wait. <laughs> she's wearing sweatpants on. Yeah, you you can take those off. Um, we're gonna do a little shopping here in town and then we have our tour at OK Farms in about an hour, just over an hour. Um, I don't think we need the water. You can, we're not gonna be out unless you're gonna carry it. Um, oh, that wasn't shut tight. I have her sunglasses here. Hang on.
and once again we get the parking spot at the front entrance of Rainbow Falls. So we're gonna see it from the tourist side and then we're gonna go over to OK Farm and see it from the local side. And you have to walk, you said. Oh, do we have to walk? It's literally the right there. Car's right there. You can hear the waterfall. I, you, you look right here. You are a spoiled child. You never told me Look right here. Wow. Look how pretty it is. Look how gorgeous. Yeah, Rainbow Falls and we're in the little gift shop and this is all fruit and veggies grown from here and it looks so yummy. We've got some chocolate. I think we're gonna take some of this. I'm just concerned with how I'm gonna keep it from melting in the car. But there's so many little things that I think I wanna get. Like some of these little sauces and stuff. So I think I wanna come back and get this little uh, cinnamon because they grow their own here on the island. We'll show, they'll show how us all. How do cinnamon? We'll show you. They're gonna show us on this tour. Cool, huh? Okay, we're about to start our little tour through this whole farm. It's gonna be so cool. That's a fresh one. Yeah, that's okay. Are you finding some, Ash? I don't know. We're gonna find like some on the ground right here. Find the green ones, but even like some of the darker ones are still good as long as the husk is on, right, Abby? Yeah. We're gonna take them and sample them for our little. <coughs> that one's good one. I'll hold it if you want. Yeah, I'm probably not even gonna eat it. You're probably not gonna, it's just a nut. You're not gonna eat the outside skin. I know. <laughs> it's just a nut. You'll like it. All right, so this one's already started to sprout. So the husk is off, the nut is exposed, and then it started to like sprout a little new seedling. That's how it does it, right? Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Okay, now open it up. Right. Um, look at the I'm gonna show it, Abby. Abby. I'm gonna get it out. It's called the dragon's eye. Show it. Crazy. Huh? Yeah. All right. Wow, that's cool. And then up Wow. It's really good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's Yum. really good. You don't want to eat it? Hey, we're cracking nuts. Mac nuts, right? Okay, the brown ones you need one crack at it, and the green ones you need two, right? I did three on this. Three on that one? Pull it open. I can't. You got it, Charles? Everybody gets a water. These waters cool. are like white Okay, crack in the second one. I don't think you're meant to crack this. It reminds me of the camera. Tell them what this is down here. Sleeping grass. Sleeping grass. What does it do? Um, when you touch it. When you touch it. Where do you feel like? Um, I, I don't know. Find a new leaf. You go like this and tap it. And that one's kind of an old broken one. Find a new. Oh, she's already touched most of this. Yeah, we'll show you one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so crazy. 
<gasps> Crazy. <laughs> he only did one side of it. That's so cool. Or like I, mm. we're gonna try it. Okay, the whole thing. And wow, you can see the Hawaiian glow <laughs> on my face. We bought some. Show them, Kaylee. You know the bag. Some uh, chocolate. Uh, Lava Aloha milk chocolate sea salt. You guys. Once you, I, okay, I gotta back up. Hang on. Okay, let me explain um, this tour a little bit. They were a little hesitant to let us film because they obviously want to keep the secret of their tour. I can smell like all the spices <laughs> in my hands. They want to keep it a secret. They want people to come and do the tour. We found this farm from a YouTube video that they had done. They didn't even explain the whole tour on that video themselves. And so we had a lot of conversations with the owner herself and then with the tour guide that works here and with the other people that were in our tour group and that none of them wanted to be filmed. One family was like okay with it, but I just told everyone, no, I won't film any of you. And two, they just didn't want me to film like the whole thing. <laughs> they were like, don't give away all of our secrets. So there's a lot that I did not film, a lot that I'm not going to explain. The last spice row that we did, I didn't leave in everything. I didn't even film everything. If I didn't film it for you guys, I kind of took pictures of it along the way, but I want to entice other people to come and do this experience because what do you guys say that it was a pretty good tour? Yeah, it was fun. Are you glad that you did it? Yeah, yeah it was fun. Can everyone smell the spices on your fingers still? Yeah. No from like all the leaves. That was like incredible. And then what was interesting is that we ate one of the cacao seeds from the, the cracked nut and kind of tasted like the, I don't know how, what it is, <laughs> but you kind of taste the nut and then you can kind of spit it out because it has to get fermented and they have to process that, right? But then after we ate that, she gave us a piece of chocolate to eat. And I think it's like when you're tasting wine, um, you know, like you smell it, and even eat different foods associated with wine, and it brings out the flavors of the wine, and that's exactly how the cacao was. By smelling it and tasting it, like you eat it and you immediately taste all the fruits. It was crazy. And then when we were eating, or like smelling the spices on the leaves, and then she would tell us what it was, it would like totally changed our, our thoughts on cinnamon. Like you can smell it, but then when you taste, you actually of the leaf you crunch into it and you immediately like this burst of cinnamon it's so cool thoughts on the tour oh it's great fantastic yeah, right kids loved it it's good yeah it was great but now we are starving we have not had lunch and it is four o'clock so we're gonna go find whatever dinner we can find and it's probably going to be fast food so don't judge us we're gonna close this for a second and we'll be back when we're actually doing kawaii things Volcanoes National Park. Jason's in the car. Chelsea, you could have stayed. She doesn't feel so good. Let's go check out the volcano. Wow, look at this. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? All of that's a crater across there. Can you see the smoke coming off the rim right there on that section over there? That's so cool. All right, Ashley, yeah. Kaylee, and myself. Wait, what? we didn't go by that road. This looks oh. like a different trail. We'll take it for a little bit. We're going down a little trail, see what we can see. Look at that misty rain going off into the crater. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it looks, makes us look red. We look haggard, because we are. Uh. <laughs> we just did our little concoction. I've got my measuring spoon and my stick, and we've got hydrocortisone, and we've got our medicine. Where's the drops? I put it in there. We actually walked down. We'll have a little footage of the uh, crater. Yep. We can't get as much. It's a little overcast, but you can see the steam and stuff. It's pretty cool. But it was. It would have been awesome to see it, you know, erupting. But that doesn't happen very often. Well, we wouldn't. Even if we were going to stay here till sunset, it's completely covered yeah, over now. There's no point. And there's no rain. red lava to see. Well, there you could see it at night if oh. you stayed, and it oh. wasn't raining and it wasn't cloudy. Which none of those are in our favor. None right. of those are So, girls, did we have fun? Yeah. <laughs> we're all very tired. So we're going to cruise back. We're going to go to the furthest point south in, in the U.S. Grab a little, what are they, enchiladas? I think they're probably close. Oh, we'll crap. Try. Okay, we got to hurry. Okay, we're going to document this really quick. Um, we came as far as we could to the southernmost tip <laughs> of the U.S. But it's, oh my gosh. It's a lot later than we wanted it to be. And we've got two kids that are asleep. Two more that could be asleep if we hadn't just asked them if they wanted to keep going. And we're not even going to be able to see the ocean. <laughs> or the cliffs. Or the southernmost tip of the U.S. Even if we do go the 25 minutes down to the coast. On this teeny tiny one lane road. It's late. Even though it's only 7 o'clock, we still have a two hour drive. Yeah, yeah. So, to get home to our hotel. So we made it as far as we could and the bakery's closed. So we can't even get our malasadas. So we're just gonna call it good. <laughs> we're tired and we wanna go home. So let's go to the bakery and then we'll head home, call it tonight. Okay, we are finally back home. That took like two and a half hours to get home. So all the kids are exhausted back here in the car. I don't know where my Pringles can is. We spent 30 bucks on snacks at the grocery store coming home because we were all just like snacky, literally like candy bars, uh, Pringles, trolleys, you name it. We spent 30 bucks, who cares? That was a long drive home. So we're just trying to gather up our stuff and go up to the room and call it a night. Okay, when I say we have a ton of crap to take in, this is like half garbage. Oh, it's ridiculous. I have to go through every single one of these bags and clean them out now. We're so tired. All right, if I'm gonna be honest with you right now, we are having a great vacation. We are very blessed and excited to be in Hawaii. But the big island is hard. It is a hard island to visit. If you are not a golfer sitting in a resort totally fine not ever leaving the pool or the you know Hilton resort or uh, like I said a golf course you take these country bags? club setting <laughs> okay he asked if I could take some bags I've got this I've one I've got to go park the car like I've in got BFE. this one I gotta go park the car in BFE can you take one of them and I'll bring the other one Whatever, get out of here. I'll do them both. Here. No, 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 it's fine, it's I've fine. got a third arm, it's, no, okay. it's okay. You don't it's have okay. two arms to come up with when you're coming back. Oh, I uh, know, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'll carry it from far, it's fine. I got three legs, I can get my arms. Here, I'll get the back door for you. Oh, I appreciate it. No problem. There's more junk in the back. No problem. Thanks for the shuttle service. He's our little what are they, what, he needs a new name now. He's our our black SUV shuttle driver. What do they call that? A driver? He's my driver now. Where's my room? Big Island is hard. I talked to a friend today. She's coming to the Big Island next month. She came last May. And uh, she was the one who really gave me the push to come to this island. And I was asking her today and I was like, dude, we're like hitting this farm. And, We've got the light or the waterfall to go to and then we're volcanoes and she's like, dude, I didn't do any of that. And I was like, you were here for a week with your whole family and another family. What did you do? And she's like, we didn't even go to that side of the island. And I was like, so now I need to tell her, just don't come. Don't come to this island. Is this our room? I think it's our room. <laughs> I'm always with everyone. I really hope this is our room. <laughs> okay. 
We're gonna call it a night with you guys. You don't need to see this mayhem. Take care.